today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different because I just did the voiceover for the Z-Pax Arc Air Aerobic 60 liter backpack. Today, I wanna show you guys what I do when I film all of the B-roll, which is the little like, just the video of the actual backpack. I wanna show you guys how that process goes for this kind of like review, overview kind of video. By the way, this backpack right here, it's freaking sweet. Crazy, crazy lightweight. And for the record, it's not my backpack. I already have a 62 liter one. That is my girlfriend's backpack. She just went all out and got a bunch of new camping and backpacking and hiking gear. She got a fantastic backpack. So here we are, filming another video on some Z-Packs backpacks. Z-Packs backpacks. Z-Packs back backpacks. It's kind of hard to say, Z-Packs backpacks. So we're not just going to go in blind for this whole video. I never just go and be like, ah, I'm just going to go swing my camera around a little bit. I always make sure I know exactly what I'm filming, especially for a video like this, where we're going over different features on this backpack. I'm taking the topics that I have in this video that I talk about, and that's what I'm going to be filming for all of the B-roll. So taking everything that I've written down for my actual script on this video, I'm going to take all of those different topics and write them down in a different Google Doc so when I'm filming I can use those topics to actually guide what I'm going to record with my camera. Okay so literally just making a bullet point list. First thing that we have is literally just like the entire backpack. So I know when I'm filming I'm going to record just like a general wide shot whatever else I need for it. We're going to actually record the aerobic material. There is the 100D, which is that main body of the backpack, and also the 210, because I talked about that in the video. I talked about two different fabrics that make up the main body of the backpack. Water resistant. Show that it's lightweight, arc, frame, roll, top of the backpack. Just gotta show myself rolling it itself. Center pocket. Showing the side pockets on the backpack. Side loops, general, all around, B-roll. That's about it, so now I have an entire list of all the B-roll that I wanna get. So now when I go out and film the actual B-roll for that video, which I'm gonna do right now and bring you guys along, I can just pull this list up on my phone and literally just cross them off as I go through filming all of those different pieces. Another thing I forgot to mention is that before I go out and film, I need to make the backpack look pretty. Cause I'm not just gonna take this thing out. I'm not just gonna take this like flat nothing of a backpack out to film the video. I need to like puff it up and make it look a lot better. So I'm literally going to take those pillows, put them inside the backpack just to give it a little bit more and look like it's actually full when I'm recording. Bam, doesn't that already look way, way better? <laughs> like, you know, it looks even. It doesn't look like it's filled with like clunky things. Yeah, this is a nice backpack. Like, I love mine. I like the color of this too. Almost that like blue color. This thing is pretty sweet. Oh, jeez, it's hot as hell in here. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to a different location to film this thing outside so we can get some nice, like, nature-y looking B-roll because it's a backpack for backpacking. It's gotta be outside in nature. right now that is near where I live. All I'm gonna do is just sit down and find some good spots, kind of maybe a little more shaded just because it's so bright outside right now. Okay, so I found a pretty decent spot. If it's really, really loud, it's because I'm next to a highway and there's a ton of cars driving behind me. There's actually like, right, over, right behind here is like a ton of cars driving by. So right next to this pine tree, which is great because it makes that like outdoorsy kind of feel like we're going for with that backpack. So now that we've got a good spot and it's nature, fits the backpack, now I can just go through that list and knock out a bunch of the different things that I want to record. What's nice about Google Docs is I can just literally pull this up on my phone and go through everything that I have written down and knock out these things one by one. We're just gonna start at the top and go all the way down the list at this one location right here. So I'm gonna be using probably two different locations so we have some different options and some different backgrounds with all this B-roll. Also, I'm not gonna do just the backpack itself. I'm gonna get like other surrounding things as well, like this pine tree right here, that are outdoorsy and associated with backpacking. So now 
I've basically gotten everything on the front of the backpack. I have to go through and do all the backside. You know, this branch was doing really well before for me. What about this guy? Maybe this one will help. Oh, come on, you guys. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Look how pretty this strap looks. Then we got Mr. Wonky here over to the side. finished all of the b-roll here at this first location also a challenge of this one I don't have a gimbal that I use for my camera I would love to actually have a gimbal to hold on to like right now I'm just holding on to my gorilla pod out in front of me and that's all I use in order to keep everything stable it'd be so much easier if I had a gimbal to use that would do all the stabilization for myself instead I have to try to move as smoothly as I can while I'm filming this so it's actually really hard to film smooth footage when you don't have a gimbal but I think it helps me be a better filmmaker or videographer or whatever, YouTuber, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go to that next location now. I need to get a new drone. I'm thinking about picking up that like Mavic Mini Pro, whatever that is. That thing looks sick. And plus, it's super lightweight. It's only like a pound or something total. And that would be perfect for me backpacking. That Mavic Mini Pro looks pretty. Freaking sweet. Looks pretty green right now. Yeah, it's kind of gnarly looking. I mean, it's like pond water and everything. It looks really nice, but. And there's just some garbage right there. A can. Another piece of garbage. Some fast food container. A glove. A couple more cans whatever that was, some feathers. But otherwise, looks pretty nice out, right? If you just don't look too close, it looks real pretty. But if you look at the detail, it's kind of rough. Oh, well, I think this is actually a pretty decent spot as long as I can just not get the garbage in the video. The literal garbage in the video. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so. We're gonna go through and repeat everything that I just did one more time here. I'm gonna have a ton of stuff to film. That's one thing too, I have a tendency to film like four or five times of the exact same thing and it just takes that much longer when I'm editing. So I tried it now just to get like one or two of the same shot, hopefully just nail it in those one and two, then I don't have so many things to go over. I'm gonna try and just knock this one out really quick so I don't have too much footage to go through since this is already the second time I'm doing this. That fish looked pretty gnarly looking. It was white and had some like big bruise thing on half of its face. So that's another reason why I don't want to go swimming in this water. <laughs> Cause that did not look good. It's still swimming around here too, it's still there. Okay, what are you doing man? See what is wrong with that thing? God, you do not look good man. You do not look good. God, that thing's like blind in one eye. You alright man? You go to the vet? Need some antibiotics? Maybe some Tylenol? God, yeah, that thing's blind in one eye. Look at that thing. You all right, man? Dude, you got messed up by something. All right, well, best of luck to that guy. I'm gonna go back to filming my backpack. <laughs> Done filming all the b-roll for the backpack. The last thing that I need to do is make sure we have a good thumbnail photo. So I'm gonna, oh my thumb is stuck. <laughs> Without a good thumbnail, is it, you, might, you might as well not even put the video out. From what I've heard and from what I have seen so myself. So I'm gonna try my best to take as good of a photo as I can of this backpack for a solid thumbnail. All right, I think this is a pretty decent spot. It's not super bright where it's sitting, which is good, because all of that sunlight is awful. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's terrible for the video, but that'll be a good spot. And then all we gotta do is just grab one of these guys, pull this down so we got something to shoot through, and then bam, take 100 photos, and probably one of them will be good. I hope so. Because you know, if you don't have something to shoot through, you gotta make something to shoot through. You know, this'll, this'll work, right? All right, I'm gonna take this photo, and then all we gotta do is go home and start editing. That is just about it for this entire process of me 
filming the B-roll of like a review kind of video. I don't want to come off like I'm some, like I'm a professional videographer or cinematographer or anything video related by any means. I feel that I'm decent at it, but I'm definitely not like a professional by any means. Everything that I learned about how to film YouTube videos, how to film B-roll, how to use a camera, do photography, everything. I have learned everything by watching YouTube videos from people like Peter McKinnon, and Maddie Hapoya, Casey Neistat for that as well. I have not taken any formal training. I haven't taken any online classes, anything like that. I basically am just self-taught through YouTube videos. I feel like I'm pretty decent. I think I've gotten better from my first YouTube videos using a GoPro to these now. I, I feel like this is a lot better and I only want to get better as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my whole process of recording videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspired you. Whatever, you know, I'm, we're just kind of having fun. Thank you guys for watching this. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. It's a pretty sick backpack. Everything z packs makes. God, they just make the dopest backpacks ever. It's so crazy lightweight and there's two pillows inside there. It just weighs nothing. I'm getting really hungry and it's getting hot out. I need to get out of the sun or I'm gonna get a sunburn. Probably am sunburned already. I've been outside for an hour. I bet I'm probably already sunburned. <laughs>